Hi, my name is Raul and you are watching 2 Horsepower and today we'll try a new generation of Nissan X-Trail. We are in Portugal, close to Lisboa, so our trip will be useful and interesting at the same time. Compared to the previous generation, in this Nissan X-Trail a style and emotionality has appeared. And it's not a surprise as high hopes are put on this model. The Japanese plan to sell half of a million cars in almost 200 countries already till the end of this year. I'm sure that the car's exterior will be estimated in different ways. One will like its modernity and rashness, that's in harmony with a new corporate identity. Another will remember the square and conservative design of the antecessor and argue that the only difference between the new Qashqai and X-Trail is the size. But let us not forget that this is an international model which might like to 5 billion people. Now in Nissan X-Trail we have a powered boot and it's nice. The only problem is that this boot lid is situated too high and it might be a challenge for a tall person, so be careful with your head. Trunk volume is impressive, 550 liters. Also, we have a new system of space transformation. Drawers have disappeared, but instead here is a shelf, which can be fixed in different ways. This model is equipped with a great deal of additional and quite useful options. For example, this large multimedia screen and surround view camera, which has a lot of helpful functions. It is impossible to not mention the large multimedia trip computer on instrument panel. It's quite informative for a driver. This car can be as two-wheel drive as all-wheel drive. More details. By selector you always can use a front-wheel drive or shift the selector in auto mode and in case of wheel spin the electronics will include the rear axle into a process by itself. Also the block system guarantees the continuous work of the all-wheel drive. No revolutions, this is a classic X-Trail. The engineers have announced that the flail space has increased for all passengers, front and back side, and it really looks like this. In spite of the positive changes in car interior, disappearance of the cup holders in the corners of dashboard won't be a good surprise for a lot of potential clients, especially for those who knew about them. At the back seat we have a free space enough, seats can be adjusted and you also have a backrest adjustment. Pay attention that back seats are higher than the front seats, as a result passengers at the back have better vision. One point six turbo diesel engine, its capacity is one hundred thirty horsepower. That's not impressive at all. But three hundred twenty newton meters torque sounds interesting. The torque action starts from two thousand engine speed. Further with four thousand, you might feel horsepower. Such an algorithm will be definitely helpful on the off road. By the way, this diesel engine might replace the previous 2 liters engine. Due to its characteristics, it's possible. Now everything depends on the operation. We have 6 speed manual transmission and it works nice. And the speed engine is comfortable.
This car is not a sprinter, but due to a great engine thrust it doesn't look like a whippet and can overrun steadily. Obviously, the suspension is set against the roads of a good quality, so it's hard to evaluate how it will work on our roads full of potholes. It seems like Nissan is taking into account this fact as here we have the all-wheel drive system and 21 cm ground clearance. So we have received a hint that this car is suitable even for an off-road, for a light version of it at least. Besides, the suspension wasn't excellent on the small road humps, the car was joining, but not that much as to be considered like a serious lap. Unlike the previous generation, this Nissan X-Trail is not crank even on a highway. Frankly speaking, the noise insulation is not magic, but the navigation system is quite smart and it's not letting us to be lost for several thousand kilometers already. Of course, this model is equipped with a great deal of security systems, which are all united in one system called as safety shield. Unfortunately, I don't know what will be priced at Ukrainian market. In general, I've liked the car. It looks emotionally, sometimes even sporty, the interior is roomy, the grade is quite nice and this diesel engine shows very good efficiency at times. But sometimes it needs to be more high-spirited. 